Hello YouTube, it's Sunday the 4th of September 2011. I just came to check on the tropical storm Katya, which has now been called Katya Sun, and when I put the satellite on I noticed this kind of glitch, so I just wanted to note it down for the record. There we are, what is that? doesn't look at all like a cloud. So is somebody beaming something? The daylight satellite stops about here. So I don't know what can be It's funny because it seems to be when the clouds aren't on. Something weird going on up here as well. One thing for sure is it's on the path of the hurricane. That's the path since its origin. Now if I put back the satellite, the daylight satellite, we can see that there's still this glitch here. What does it mean? Six nineteen AM UTC. So latitude longitude fifteen comma minus forty four point four. Latitude fourteen point six longitude minus forty two point six latitude fourteen point two longitude minus 40.8 that is the area which seems to have something happening to it anybody got any ideas here's a screenshot I took this is Katya to the left. If you come back a bit, these three 111, when she was a category one, correspond to the place where the glitch is today. There we are. A close up. If that means anything to anybody. This is a screenshot taken from IntelliCast. Those three red points were when Katya was a Category 1. So on August the 31st at 11 p.m. the historical position was 15 degrees north and 44.4 west. The next day, September the 1st, the position was 15.2 north and 45.9 west at 5 a.m. So it's definitely about 6.19 a.m. today. Uh, was it happening yesterday or the day before? So now it's 10.45 a.m. EST on IntelliCast and the eye can be seen from a long way off.
bonsai is more attracted over here to the tornadoes created by Tropical Storm Lee. There have been several reports. Location Bay. Public reported a tornado near Highway 20 in Crystal Lake. The tornado dissipated as it crossed the highway. At Okalusa, homeowner reported damage to trees, fence and roof in Steeplechase subdivision near Crestview, Florida. And at Escambia, two businesses damaged in Peredo Key. Both businesses had broken windows and other minor structure damage. Possible tornado. In Mobile, a home was damaged with several trees down along Pioneer Road and Fall River Road. And in Harrison, there was roof damage in Robin Wood Forest Subdivision. Then in Lamar, a funnel cloud briefly touched down near Highway 42 with some limbs down and small debris evident. No other damage. There's something strange going on here. Just east of Memphis. There's a ghost radar or something. So let's hope these two systems, Tropical Storm Lee and Hurricane Catcher, are not going to meet each other up north. There seems to be some uncertainty about the direction Catcher's Sun is taking, but with a bit of luck it will be back into the Atlantic without touching the coastline of the United States. another look at Tropical Storm Lee, moving up from Houston, New Orleans and Florida on the Gulf, up through Kentucky, Tennessee, all the way up and there are plenty of strong cells. strong cells. Possible tornado. Hail detected. So stay safe.